This drill is called the agility wheel. Basically you set up eight cones around a center cone about 10 feet apart from the center cone. Athlete starts in the middle and he's going to run three types of running drills inside the agility wheel. It's best to do this with four or five athletes. More than that, it takes too long to run the drill. So the first portion of this drill, the athlete runs out to the cone, makes a good stop, and runs forward again back to the middle cone. Then forward out to the next cone, and forward back to the middle cone. He'll do that to every cone around the agility wheel. When he's done, he goes to the back of the line, next one steps in, and they do it. After everyone has gone around one time, the next set is to run this out to the cone, around the cone, and then backwards to the middle. And then out, around the cone, and backwards to the middle. Again, the athlete runs every cone that way. When he's done, the next athlete comes in. He runs that same circuit. When all of them have finished that, the third circuit is starting in the middle. We sidestep out and sidestep back. Sidestep out and sidestep back. And again, all the way around the circle to every cone. When you're done, out. All the athletes do this. So each athlete will run each circuit one time. Forward, forward, then forward and back, and then sidestep and sidestep. Quick and back, yep. Excellent, quick, quick, quick. That's it, good, good. Quick feet. Excellent. One more. And Ivan's up next. Ivan, you'll always sprint to the cone and you'll slide, side shuffle back in, side shuffle back in. Whichever leg you decide to lead with, if you're going to touch here, then slide the same way. All right, this drill is called the out and back. And the way we set it up is we draw a line here for a start line. We draw a line down the side here for a tag line. We lay out four cones. And the drill progresses one player at a time. They run out, sprint to the tag line, touch it with their foot, and backwards to the cone. Out to the tag line, touch it with their foot, back to the cone. Out and back, out and back. When they're here, they sprint hard to the finish line. The second player in line should start when the player before him reaches the second tag line. This way you can keep it moving and they should run this for about 90 seconds. So if you run five or six guys in a 90 second span they'll be good and tired at the end but it'll work their change of direction and their backpedaling. It's a good drill especially for defensemen with all the backpedaling. Just make sure that when they get to this top cone and they're done, that they sprint hard to the finish line because this will be where they're their tiredest and they'll want to, you know, take it easy back to the start line. So make them run hard. And again, run the drill for about 90 seconds. In your case, you're sprinting back to the cone. Once you touch, you're always sprinting in this direction. When I give you a verbal command, you're coming back to the next cone. Ivan will always sprint away and slide back. Tyler will always sprint away and back pedal back. We'll go to you touch all four cones. So you're sprinting, and in this case, we'll just use a clap. When I clap my hands, in your case, Greg, you sprint back to this cone. So you go into the sideline, sprint to this cone, then sprinting again. Go! Turn and sprint.
Last one. Excellent. Ivan will slide back to the cone. Go. This drill is called the angle cut drill. What we want here is for the athletes to run hard and make a good cut on their outside leg. We set it up like this. We have a start line here, a cone about 15, 20 feet away. These cones are 15 to 20 feet away from the middle cone. And we have a secondary start line up here. So what's going to happen is it's going to be in three different sets. The first one, the athlete's going to run hard to the center cone and then make a hard cut and run through the cone up in the corner. Then each athlete does that. Then the second time they come to the line, the athlete runs hard to the center line, makes a hard cut straight across through the cone. And then the third time, they run hard to the cone, make a good cut, and back down and through the bottom cone. So it's three sets of running drills. Out to the middle, hard cut up to the right. Out to the middle, hard cut straight across, 90 degree. And then up to the middle, hard cut back down. Don't let them loop through these turns. You want to have them going hard, make a good solid plant, and cut out. You run this, depending on the number of players you have. Usually, again, it works best with five or six players in this line. So you make them each do this set twice. And then, after they do it twice, we just move them up here. And we run the same drill, except the first time when you ran it, they're always breaking to the right. The next time you run it, they're doing the same patterns, except now they're breaking to their left. So when they run this way, they should be planting on their left outside foot and breaking to their right. When they run this way, they should be planting on their right outside foot and breaking to their left. And go! Yep. Now we'll take to the 90 degrees. So we're doing the exact same thing, except we're cutting 90 degrees. Still to the right, planting off the left. Go. Yep. Go. Excellent. Go. Now our last one, we'll come back at 45 degrees. This time, make sure that when you plant, you're planting perpendicular, so you'll almost be diagonal so that we can get maximum push to drive to the 45 degree angle. Go! Nice. Go! Go! Excellent. That is cone number one. All right, this drill is simply called forward and back. To set it up, we put a start line here. We put a cone here about 15 yards out. We put another cone here about 15 yards past that one. Players line up in two, three, four lines. Everybody can be involved in this drill, and they run one at a time. And the drill is you run full speed to the first cone, and without slowing down, you spin and run backwards through the second cone. So in here, they have to make sure that they plant their foot, spin their hips, and then get their legs moving in the opposite direction. So it's a full sprint for the first 15 yards, plant, turn the hips, and go backwards through the next cone. And we run this drill at least five times.